my friends, the Ontario PC party are the only ones standing between you and the $2 a litre for gas. We're the only party with a plan to bring gas prices down. Pull up at a pump in Toronto, the GTA, or pretty much anywhere in the province these days, and you're greeted with a pleasant surprise. Filling up your tank has gotten substantially cheaper in recent months. Now, that clip you just watched of Doug Ford was from back in May before he was elected as Premier and before his Conservatives ran away with the majority government here in Ontario. Now, if you fast forward to today, Ford and many of his faithful MPPs are taking credit for the price you're finding today at the pumps. Recently, Ford tweeted gas prices across Ontario are lower today in large part because we scrapped the carbon tax. Our government will always work to keep more money in your pocket. Other provincial Conservatives have been doubling down. MPP Stephen Lecce sent this one out, writing Boxing Day sales brought to you by Premier Ford Nation. Minister of Health and Long-Term Care Christine Elliott tweeted out this, proclaiming that by eliminating the carbon tax in Ontario, families in Newmarket and Aurora have been enjoying lower gas prices and keeping more money in their pockets. The average price of the pumps today is about 103.9, a significant drop of about 30 cents from just six months ago. Today we spoke with two separate petroleum analysts. GasBuddy.com's Dan McTagg and NPRO's Roger McKnight to fact check the provincial Conservatives' claims that prices are largely down thanks to their move to ditch the provincial carbon tax. Both agree the problem saved you about five cents a litre when they killed Ontario's carbon tax in September. But after that, their claims are running on fumes. Would you say that the provincial government is selling Ontarians a half truth? I'll call it a shaded truth. How about that? It's really uh, out of control of any government in this, in this country, be it federal or provincial. It's really on, on uh, geopolitics and the world price of crude. I think they're uh, huffing and puffing. They don't really understand how gasoline is actually priced or diesel is actually priced at all. They're not in the oil business. They're in the uh, political business. Price of crude, the cost of crude is about uh, 60 60 percent of the up your pump price. So when your crude costs go down got nothing to do with the Conservative government, the Liberal government, or any NDP government. Yes, the, the provincial government has dropped taxes, and as a result, gasoline prices have fallen further than other provinces. Uh, but is the reason, uh, so the sole reason, uh, you know, carbon tax uh, elimination? No. The fact is, 80-20 is what I've told everybody. 80% of the drop is the result of the uh, drop in oil. That's dropped about $33 a barrel, $32 a barrel. And the other 20% is the result of the provincial government uh, scrapping the, uh, the uh, cabinet free carbon tax. Now, we will see a five-cent increase at the pumps around April. That's when the federal Liberals are expected to initiate their carbon pricing pan. Now, GasBuddy.com's Dan McTagg tells me we should expect a tumultuous year when it comes to prices at the pump. By summertime, we could be back to $1.30. He says enjoy this while it lasts. Now, Premier Doug Ford sent out his New Year's Day message today saying it's back to work for his Conservative government. In the statement, the Premier writes, as we welcome the arrival of 2019, Ontario's government is working for the people and renewing our commitment to make life better for families and businesses across this province and to restore integrity to our province's finances. We will continue to work to put more money back into your pockets.